Hey everybody, Jennifer here today and I'm going to show you the easy way on how to make banana bread um, using cake mix. So the things you need are the following, a box of cake mix, it could be any flavor you want. For this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use it using um, just the yellow, the yellow cake mix. You need one stick of butter, two eggs, three ripe bananas, and optional is um, chopped walnuts or any nuts that you like. Really super easy, so let's go ahead and get started. Anytime you're baking, as always, you want to make sure that your oven is preheated. In this case, it's 9.31 a.m. and you want to make sure that your oven is preheated to the magic number of 350 degrees. And the first ingredient you want to work with is your bananas. You want to make sure they're nice and mashed up. Um, that way it's easy to mix up. And I'm using a bean masher to get this all nice and mashed. Now that the bananas are nice and mashed, I'm going to add in all the ingredients. It doesn't matter what order you put them in because you're just going to mix it all up. So there goes the bananas, the butter, and I melted the butter for about 30 seconds just to get it nice and easy to mix. Two eggs. Don't want to drop them on the floor. And your cake mix. Just dump it all in there. And then now you're ready to mix. Wait a second, what if I don't like bananas? Well, here's a solution for you. You could replace bananas with one cup of any type of vegetable or fruit that you prefer. For example, um, in this batch, I'm actually using a Japanese sweet potato um, instead of bananas. So there's another alternate for you. All right, so I just finished mixing, and you want your batter to look something similar to this. I did had to add about maybe a teaspoon or two of um, water just to kind of loosen it up, but that's what your batter should look like. And now we're ready to pour this into the bread loaf, so let's move over here. So next I'm going to pour this lovely batter into these prepared um, pan loaves and I sprayed it with a little bit of Pam just so it doesn't stick but honestly with these types you could work with that so I'm going to do a speed run and you'll just see me put the batter into the pan loaves so easy. Now that I have everything nice and spread out I'm ready to put the loaves into the oven for 45 minutes. So we'll see you in about 45 minutes. All right, we're back and it's been a little over 45 minutes. So you should get something a little like this. Um, the banana bread should look golden brown. I'm gonna put a glove on and kind of do a little close up without dropping it. So something like that. Also another way you could tell if it's completely done is by putting the wooden toothpick in the middle. I don't have toothpicks, I just have these skewers, so for example here, just stick it in the middle, no, no, and you don't see any little um, bits of the bread sticking up. So that's how you do that, so simple. All right, so let's take a look at some final results, some chocolate banana bread, regular banana bread, and we got some sweet potato bread over here. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Super duper easy recipe. I want to thank you guys so much. You're the best. And thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned because as always there will be more videos. Bye guys.